वेलकम एवरी वन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डी एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वाग कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक इन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द अनोदर ग्रेन सेपरेटर दैट इज स्पायरल सेपरेटर सो so far we have covered air screen cleaner specific gravity separator then indented cylinder separator so as i told that every separator works on some physical properties of the biological materials for example specific gravity separator which works on the difference in specific gravity of different constituents of the mixture likewise indented cylinder separator works or separates the grain on the basis of difference in relative length so in this uh, video lecture we will study spiral separator so spiral separator the spiral separator separates the grains as per their roundness so uh, this spiral separator uh, the main separation principle uh, of spiral separator is the roundness of the uh, material of the uh, separ separation commodity so the main component of the grain separator is a stationary open screw conveyor standing on one end as shown in the figure so this is the figure of the spiral separator so in which uh, the screw conveyor is mounted in a vertical position or on a vertical axis and this screw conveyor has uh, two helix one is the inner helix and the other other is the Uh, outer helix so these two helix plays important role uh, during separation of the uh, material so the mixture for for separation of a grains uh, the mixture is first fed at the top of the unit so there is no any hopper we we have to just put grain at the top of the unit or at the top of the spiral separator the round material of the mixture pick up the speed because of their roundness as they slide or rolls down the inclined surface until their centrifugal force becomes sufficient enough to throw them in the outer helix so what happens when we appeared uh, grain at the top of the unit because of the gravitational force the every particle of the mixture pick up the motion but the round grains or sound grains because of their roundness uh, pick up the greater motion as compared to the irregular uh, or irregular grains or the grains which are not round so because of this what happens centrifugal force develops on the grain which which throws them into the outer helix as i told you before few minutes that this vertical mounted screw conveyor consists of two helix one is the inner helix and one is the and other is the outer helix so because of the impact or influence of centrifugal force because of the high motion uh, high speed these sound or round grains are thrown into the outer helix while the non ground material are caught in the inner helix as uh, because of their low speed centrifugal force uh, sufficient centrifugal force does not uh, develop over them because of them they remains in the inner helix and are discharged through a separate spout so this is the another figure of the spiral separator so so this type of a separator 
basically or nowadays are used for the separation of broken grains or mud balls from the soybean after uh, harvesting after the harvesting of soybean so this is the main principle that is the inner helix and outer helix uh, plays an important role during separation as round grains because of their roundness pick up the motion and rolls or slides down the inclined surface until their centrifugal force become sufficient enough to throw them into the outer helix and through the outlet of the outer helix they are collected whereas the non round grains remains in the inner helix and uh, through the inner helix they travels toward the outlet and where they collected so in this uh, type of separator there is a no moving part uh, or so as it means it, it does not require in any electric power to operate the machine only we have to feed the only we have to feed grains at the top of the uh, machine or separator the only adjustable component in this type of separator in this type of separators is the rate of feeding so at what rate we feed grain at the top of the machine some spiral separator are also provided with a controlling gate in order to control the rate of feeding the feeding should be such that each grain or particle roll independently for effective separation means each and every particle of the mixture uh, sh should get chance to meet the surface of the helix so that according to their roundness they will pick up the motion so the main limitation of the spiral uh, is that it's it is lack it it is lack of the um, flexibility so separation of mustard rape soybean wild peas or other round seeds can be performed from wheat flocks flax OTC, uh, oats etc with the help of this spiral separator so the spiral separator is less versatile device as compared to other mechanical cleaners but from the economic point of view it is simple inexpensive and quite useful for seed cleaning purposes in a rural part of the country so thank you in this way we have covered another important separator that is spiral separator this spiral separator separates the material on the basis of their roundness and also this particular spiral separator do not have any moving component so only the rate of feeding is the adjustable co component and the inner and outer helix plays important role uh, in the separation of the grain so thank you in the next uh, video lecture we will continue with the another uh, grain separator thank you